G'day my fellow media collectors and welcome to the comic book movie collector's guide your show about collecting all things superhero cinema I'm your host Troy and today we have my monthly collection update so what do you say we see what I picked up for the month of December 2020 no right month wrong year let's get into it Okay, first couple I have for you, and we'll get the kids' ones out of the way first. So, the first one I have for you is Scoob on Blu-ray, and I got this off eBay for $7. That is a really good buy on that one. You're still looking around the 12 to 15 buck mark. Now, I know you're probably out there going, why is Scoob get inv uh, involved in this? Um, well, it's because, I don't know if you can see it, You've got the Blue Falcon in there, so you have your superhero toy in there. So that's why it makes it into the collection. Uh, yeah, I do love the Blue Falcon. He's great. I always loved it when he showed up in these Scooby-Doo cartoons because my girls both loved Scooby-Doo, so I used to watch it a bit <laughs> with them. So, uh, yeah, so really keen to see that one. Apparently, it's not too bad, so I wouldn't mind seeing that. The next one I have for you is Casper meets Wendy on DVD, and I got this off eBay for $7.00. Okay, that's roughly around what you're gonna pay, anywhere between six to ten dollars. Uh, I just wanted to finish this off. I've only got one more Casper to go and I've got the complete collection, so I was just waiting to get this one. Seven dollars, that's not a bad price. I was happy enough to pay that. Um, Hilary Duff, I didn't realize Hilary Duff was the uh, star of that one back when she was still a kid. Uh, yeah, so uh, that'll be nice to get that Casper collection finished off. And the next one I have for you is Sam Sam and the Magic Card Tree on DVD. And I got this off eBay for $6.95. Uh, look, to tell you the truth, I don't know if that's a good price or a bad price. Around $6.95, I think that's a good price. I haven't really got into too much research on Sam Sam as yet, so I can't tell you whether I picked up a bargain or not. But if it's still around the $6 mark for a DVD, I'm happy enough to pay that anyway. So, yeah. Um, and I've never watched it. I don't know yet. <laughs> it's not something high on my list to watch, but as usual, doing it for the collection. Anyway, so that is Scoob on Blu-ray and Casper Meets Wendy and Sam Sam the Magic Car Tree on DVD. Okay, next few I have for you, and the first one is The Umbrella Academy, season one on DVD, and I got this for $9.30. I have been watching this for a little while now, Amazon still got it for around the 20 buck mark. Uh, I have seen it bounce around the $15 mark on eBay, and this guy put it up, made him an offer, got him down to 9.30, and I said, thank you very much, and got myself a bargain. So very happy indeed with that. Finally start the Umbrella Academy collection. Uh, and the next one I have for you is Happy Season 1 on DVD, and I got this off eBay for $11. That's actually a good buy for that. Uh, I don't know if it's like a limited run or why it's holding its value at the moment, but yeah, you're still looking at 15 to $20 or even $30 in some instances. Um, so to get it for 11 bucks, uh, yeah, very happy indeed. Same again, I think I talked the guy down a couple of bucks to get it to that and he was keen to get rid of it. I was keen to get a hold of it. So the deal was done. So yeah, very happy to get that. Happy, yeah, you get it, pun. <laughs> that joke uh anyway um this one i'm actually curious to see I've, I've heard a bit about it and i'm very interested to see that one now a bit of a different one and we have devil man on dvd and i got this off ebay for eight dollars that's pretty good buy too you're roughly looking around that eight to fifteen dollar mark for this one too um yeah i think there was one cheaper but it was extra and i'm not going to go down that path uh but yeah it's for eight dollars for that very happy indeed um don't know too much about this, only sort of recently discovered it. And uh, yeah, looking at that, classic anime, it looks like it's off the wall. It really does. So keen to give that one a watch as well. So that is The Umbrella Academy Season 1, Happy Season 1, and Devil Man on DVD. Okay, next couple I have for you. And the first one is 30 Days of Night blood trials on dvd and i got this off ebay for eight dollars uh roughly what you're looking at there's a few around the 15 maybe one or two on the 20 but you're roughly looking around your eight or nine dollar mark uh me personally not really going to pay too much for this i'm not really going to watch it don't really do the horror you know that 
uh, but because it's based off a comic book, I had to get it for the collection, which leads me into the next one, which I got, which was 30 Days of Night, Dark Days on DVD. And I got this off a good mate of mine, Kane. Uh, we did a swap with some DVDs. He gave me a couple. I swapped him a couple. So it didn't really cost me anything. So super bargain there. <laughs> um, yeah, so because I got that one, I had to get the uh, Blood Trolls. And that completes it. I've already got 30 Days of Night already. So that's the three of them together. Uh, which leads me on to the next one, which is... Human Target Season 1, and I got this on DVD off Kane again. We did a swap. Uh, these were the two that I got off him. Uh, yeah, and again, didn't cost me anything, so super bargain yet again. So thanks a lot, Kane. I really do appreciate it. Um, this one, I've heard about it. Not sure if it's any good or not. I only went for a season or two. I'm not sure if it went for a second season. Uh, I'd have to research that, but yeah. Yeah. Um, Looks interesting. I, I'd be keen to give it a watch. So, yeah, that is 30 Days of Night Blood Trials, 30 Days of Night Dark Days, and Human Target Season 1 on DVD. Next couple I have for you, and I've got some pretty recent ones this time, uh, and that is The Batman on a Blu-ray. And I got this at JB Hi-Fi for $10.50. Uh, they had a bit of a special on um, where it was uh, buy to... I think it was buy two for 30 bucks. Um, but then you also got 30% off all DVDs and Blu-rays through the shop. So then they put that discount on it again, which went from $30 down to 21, hence $10.50 for this one. And what I bought with that on that special was Thor Love and Thunder on Blu-ray. And I got that obviously from JB Hi-Fi for $10.50 as well. So super buy on both of them. Love the Batman. This is a good watch, but could have been a lot better. I'd, I'll uh, definitely go through it and review both of these soon. I'm actually keen to probably review both of them soon. So look out for them in the coming months, and I'll let you know my thoughts on both of these movies. So that was The Batman and Thor Love and Thunder on Blu-ray. Okay, got a couple more uh, Blu-rays for you, and this is another JB Hi-Fi special when they had their special on. Uh, so the first one I got was... Constantine the House of Mystery on Blu-ray and I got this off JB Hi-Fi for seven dollars like I said part of a two for one special then a discount again so come down to seven bucks very happy to get that uh, this one is like a short film and then they've thrown on a lot of the um, other animated shorts that you've got with the last previous movies so like the last boy on uh, Commandy the last boy on earth the losers and blue beetle which are on the last three uh, DVD releases uh, so it's a good way to kind of get it like if you got some of the DVDs like I did instead of the Blu-rays you missed out on those shorts so it's a good way to pick it all up this way I've learned my lesson since and I'm only buying them on Blu-ray now and I'll upgrade my other one so I don't miss out on any of those shorts uh, yeah because you want them because some of them are fantastic honestly uh, so yeah curious to watch this don't mind the old Constantine and of course the next one I got on that special was Injustice on a Blu-ray and of course I got that from JB Hi-Fi for seven dollars really don't mind this movie at all uh, if you want to see my review uh, just click back uh, and go check it out uh, I only did it recently and I loved it so if you want to see more of my thoughts on it, go check out that review. So that is uh, Constantine House of Mystery and Injustice on Blu-ray. Okay, last couple I have for you. And this one is a bit of a toss-up too for which one. And it always seems to be. I always seem to have this drama where I get two really good buys and I just don't know which one to put as the bargain of the month. Um, so, yeah, the bargain of the month this time... I only just scraped it in as far as why it's the bargain. Um, so I'll start with this first one, and that is Max Steel on Blu-ray and DVD. Uh, and I got this off eBay for $24.09. I'm actually very happy with that. Um, for some odd reason, they've released the cartoon out here in Australia, but they haven't released the movie on DVD or Blu-ray. That I am aware of. I've only ever seen US copies. As you can see, US copy because it's a thin... Um, and I thought, oh, I'm only ever going to get it from the States, which of course then has import fees and all that usual bullshit, um, which makes it a fortune for me to buy. Luckily enough, someone had already bought one from the States and 
here in Australia and then wanted to offload it. And of course, I was there to swoop in and pick it up for that stellar buy of $24. So I have to admit, I am very happy with that. Probably still more than I wanted to actually pay. But at the end of the day, for me to get this from the States, yeah, it costs a mozza. Uh, so that's why that was kind of on the cusp of the bargain of the month. But um, yeah, this next one is definitely a bargain of the month. And of course, as I keep alluding to, it is the bargain of the month. That's right. This is the one that I've been looking at for this one for as long as I can remember. Um, trying to finally get a hold of it, and I finally did. And that is the Teen Titans Season 3 on DVD. And I got this off eBay for $29.95. Not exactly a bargain price-wise, but... Like I said, this has been the missing piece of my Teen Titans collection. This one has eluded me and eluded me and eluded me. I've managed to pick all the other ones up for some really great bargains. Uh, but this one I've been watching for, I reckon, close to a couple of years at least. And never been able to get one cheaper than 30 bucks. And uh, yeah, I just thought, bugger it, I finally pulled the trigger. You know, like I always tell you, patience is a virtue. But in this case patience wasn't going to pay off so i wanted to finish it off so i thought bugger it i'll pull the trigger and then of course guess what happened i don't know what happened yeah i can hear you screaming at the tv yeah I, this is exactly what happened as if someone put up a season three and i could have bought it for about 15 16 dollars literally five days after i bought this one Two years of waiting. If I only waited five more days, I could have picked up a bargain. But, you know, look, this is the game we play. It's all a roll of the dice sometimes. So, yeah. Look, I finally got it. I finally got all my Teen Titans. I'm very happy with that. Now it's time to get onto my Teen Titans go. But, uh, yeah, sometimes, even if you wait a while, yeah, you still just miss out. <laughs> so, anyway, that is Max Steel on Blu-ray and Teen Titans Season 3 on DVD. Hey, so if you like that and you want to see some more of my collection updates, why don't you click that one there? Or maybe you want to see some of my reviews. Got you covered too. Why don't you click that one there? And of course, don't forget to do the most important thing. Throw me a bat like. Don't forget to hit that subscription button on the way out. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.